welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and another Asda grocery haul. I am going to show you what I got this week from Asda. I spent £177, however, a lot of that was gifts for Father's Day and my mum's birthday, alcohol, things like that. But I will show you them anyway. And also at the end of this little haul, I'm going to tag on a delivery that I got from the Skinny Food Co. So stick around to the end of the video if you want to see what I got this time. Right, let's get into it. Right, here we go. This is the shopping that I got this week. And we've got the, the gift stuff over there. Right, I'm going to start with the keto stuff this week, the good stuff. I got my double cream as always, um, heavy whipping cream it's known as in America. I got three of those because I'm loving them in my coffees and I think I'm going to need them for a, a recipe or two this week. I have actually... Now that I've been back on it for a couple of weeks, I'm starting to introduce a few little sort of keto treats and I'm going to try a couple of recipes this week. So you'll see that as I'm going along. So creme fraiche, this is excellent just for adding fat to your dinner. Sometimes if I'm just having chicken, um, it's not an, there's not enough fat on it to make it a proper keto meal. So I like creme fraiche, it's lower carbs than sour cream and it's just as nice. And per 100 grams, there's, uh, sorry, per 100 mils, there's 2.5 grams of carbs in that. And just a little dollop on the side of your plate is enough to add the, the fats to your dinner. I've not had this for ages. Cornish clotted cream. This is amazing. And I usually have it on a chaffle, but I have got something special that I'm going to have with it later on, the, that I'll show you later on in my Skinny Food Co. haul. And per... 100 grams of this focus it's 2.3 grams of carbs i'm letting myself have some chocolate again i got the lint 70 percent cocoa just every now and again if i fancy a bit of chocolate just a square of this is enough because dark chocolate is really really quite not sickly but it's satisfying just one square is enough and the 70 percent is per 100 grams 34 grams of carbs but they were $1.99 each or two for $2.50 so I also got the 85% cocoa which is too dark for me to eat on its own but if I'm baking with it or melting it for anything you can just add a bit of sweetener or a bit of flavour into it and it's lovely and that's only 19 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Right Tonight we, well, I say we, the family are having a Chinese takeaway for my mum's birthday and I'm not, I decided to have a picky plate instead. So I got myself some Milano salami, which is rich and garlicky and that's got less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs. And along with that I'm going to have some Italian, Italian prosciutto, sweet and delicate and also less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs. I'm also going to have with it a little bit of some smooth Brussels patty with garlic. This per 100 grams is four point, what does that say? It's not focusing. 4.8 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So I'll just have a little bit of that just to give a wee bit of texture. And I'm also going to cut up some mozzarella with it. And there's something else here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's hiding. It's hiding. Here we go. I'm going to have some of this with it as well. Extra, as the extra special coleslaw. I don't have this all the time, but it's actually not too bad considering it's got carrot in it. So for 100 grams, it is 3.5 grams. That's what, yeah. 3.5 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So it's actually not too bad at all. Um, I've not had it the last couple of weeks, but... I don't mind having a wee dollop of it now and again. Just adds a bit of flavour and again a wee bit extra fat. Now, I thought you said this was the keto section, Fiona. Why is there ice cream, you're wondering? Because Magnum now do a no added sugar ice cream. And it's vanilla caramel flavour. It's got 154 calories per stick. So it's an actual lolly. And let's have a look at the ingredients. We have got uh, milk chocolate sweeteners, blah, blah, blah. The sweetener is maltitol and erythritol. Maltitol isn't the best sweetener because it does have a relatively high glycemic index, 
But for an ice cream, every now and again, it'll do me. And there's no actual sugar in it at all. Whereas the likes of the Halo Top one that I have does have sugar in it. So let's have a look at this. Um, right. 195 grams the lolly is. And for 100 grams, there's 31 grams of carbs, but only 5 grams of sugar because the rest are polyols. So in a stick, there's almost 10 grams. Yes, it's quite high, but I'm willing to have it just now and again. And my plan is that later on today, when they're all having birthday cake, I'm going to have one of these. And that way I won't feel like I'm missing out. Move. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put them in the freezer so they don't melt. Hold on. What I'm actually going to do is when I have one later on, I will film a clip and let you see what it's actually like, how big it is, what it looks like and how nice it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a decent size. I'm just going to put it in this bowl and cut it up because that's how I like to eat it. I'm not keen on eating it off the stick. So I'm going to do that just now, let you see what it's like inside. So it certainly looks nice. You can see the caramel swirl on there. I think it's vanilla and salted caramel swirl. Um, so I'm just going to have a taste just now and I'll let you know what I think. That is actually very, very tasty. Would I rather have a normal Magnum? Yes. But is that a good substitute? Yes. I would definitely have that again. I don't know if they do other flavours, that's the only flavour I've seen. But to be able to have that on keto, I am very, very happy. Again, I wouldn't have it all the time because it is still relatively high in carbs, but as a little treat on a sunny day like this, while we're all having birthday cake, it's perfect. I'm away to tuck in. Right, <laughs> moving on, we've got our smoked bass fillet again. Really, really enjoy that in the oven with a bit of butter and some chilli flakes. Really tasty piece of fish, very good for you. Now, for what, the recipe that I'm going to do today, the sav uh, this week, the savoury recipe, I'm going to do a Philly steak, um, Philly cheese steak. And I saw that on the Keto Kitchen's YouTube channel. I meant to have steak strips, but they didn't have any. And I've been really, really in the mood for this recipe. So I've got Irish beef diced and I'll just cut that into thinner strips. And hopefully that'll do. Um, that looks lovely. I got some chicken breast fillets. We're going to do the Nando's chicken again. Yes, three weeks in a row, but it's lovely. And it means the sauce isn't getting wasted. I have got these. They are keto friendly. I had them last week, wasn't overly impressed with them. However, these are for the puppies. I'm not going to say what they're called. I'm going to abbreviate it to CW because that's what we do in the house. And if I say the real thing, if I say the whole word, the dogs will come running. So if you ever hear me referring to CWs, this is what I'm talking about. They only needed one pack this week. I got the Asda Smart Price soft cheese because it was the lowest carb soft cheese that they had there. And I need it for recipes this week. One of the other recipes that I'm going to be doing is a cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake that I saw on Ginger's Keto in the UK YouTube channel and it looks amazing. And this has got, for 100 grams, 4 point, what does that say? 4.7 grams of carbs, I think. Oh, I'm going blind. 4.7 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So it is quite, it's not high, but it's, for cheese, it's high. I think the lowest carb soft cheese that you can get, from what I gather, is in Sainsbury's or Lidl. Um, but I was in Asa, so I just had to go with the flow. So I got two of these. I got bacon because I used all my bacon on the pepper poppers last week. So the 16 slices of smoked streaky bacon. I love that. I got... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got pork belly slices. For me, I love... Um, cutting them up into strips and frying them off with some spices and stuff and I'm going to have these when Abby and Jack have one of the other things that you'll see later on right, like I said I'm relaxing a wee bit this week I'm going to introduce more veg so I've got some cauliflower florets they're um, relatively low in carbs doesn't say on it but they are a keto friendly veg I've got an orange pepper for the Philly cheese steak recipe that I'm doing I got a pack of red onions. Again, I need an onion for that recipe. And a punnet of mushrooms, one of the most keto-friendly veg that you can get because they're pretty neutral when it comes to carbs and things and you can use them to add lots of cream and fat to your meals. I got... I was wanting... 
the Hartley Sugar Free Jelly Crystals to make my cheesecake because there's very few carbs in this compared to using real strawberries. So it cuts down the carbs in the cheesecake if you use jelly crystals instead of the real strawberries, according to Ginger. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And these were on a deal as well. It was, um, hold on, I'll find out. Yeah, the jelly was a pound each or two for pound fifty. So I got two. I got a strawberry one and a raspberry one because I thought if the strawberry cheesecake's good, I can always try a raspberry one. But I also like making that up partly with boiled water and partly with cream and it makes a nice creamy dessert. I got, <coughs> excuse me, I got some apple cider vinegar because I want to try the Diet Doctor's Keto Bread Rolls either this week or next. I couldn't get any steak seasoning for the Philly cheese steak, so I got a burger seasoning. It's close enough. Um, the one thing that I will say is be careful with seasonings because quite often they do have sugar or maltodextrin in them. This one, I double checked it. The writing's very small, you'll never see it, but it's basically, it's just spices that's in it. So there's no sugar or maltodextrin or anything like that in it. So I'm happy to use that. I got eggs, 15 free range eggs because I love eggs and I'm needing them for my, what recipe? Oh, if I make the bread, I need egg whites and the dogs would get the yolks. Onto the drinkables. Last week I loved having the sparkling flavoured water instead of having my ras raspberry Pepsi Max all the time. So yes, I did still get a raspberry Pepsi Max. This is one that was already open. The others are in the cupboard. But I only got three this week, so I'm reducing it again. Um, and I got some more flavoured water. I'm happy with these because it's sucralose that they're sweetened with and Ace K, so there's no aspartame in it and it's keto friendly. So they didn't have the strawberry and vanilla, which was annoying because that's my favourite. But I got an apple and mango, lemon and lime, peach, blueberry and raspberry. And this one's for Abby. It's a still raspberry and green tea. I don't like still water and I can't stand tea. So I definitely won't be drinking that. But that one's for Abby. And we did get a couple of extra bottles of the different flavours because Abby's enjoying these as well. And they had my raspberry, not raspberry, my cherry 7-up free in again, the cans. And I had to pick them up. There was only two packs left. I have to say the raspberry Fanta last week, I wasn't overly keen. It was okay, but a bit disappointing. Right, that's all the keto-friendly stuff out of the way. I'm going to go on to the family stuff and then I'll go on to the non-food and then the Prezi stuff. Right, so... As always, got these for the dogs. They were only needing one pack this week at Support Cocktail Sausages. I got Abby and Jack the crispy potato slices that they love. And sweet potato fries. I do love both of these. But I have to say, it's getting easier to not eat them now. I've not got the cravings for them anymore. These are for Abby. They're chicken barbecue griddlers. I would imagine they'll be quite high in carbs. Wait, I'll check. Yeah, 8.1 grams of carbs for four of them. Not worth it in my book. I got Brooke a cheese and tomato pizza. And, oops, I got Abby a pepperoni pizza. I got Jack the carrot butternut squash and green beans pack. Um, that would be for him and Abby. That just goes in the microwave, which is handy. I got Jack's favourite Mediterranean style veg. Again, this is keto friendly if you only have a wee drop. And... I got Brooke her watermelon fans. I got two packs of that. Again, relatively keto friendly, but I wouldn't waste carbs on it. And I got these for Jack, ready to eat plums. Now this is what Abby and Jack are going to have when I have the pork belly, the chipotle and maple CWs. Um, again, they are delicious, but they're so full of sugar. I got two packs of yogurts for Jack. I got them the Activia this week because they were on a deal. Can't remember what it was, but it was they were working out cheaper than the light and free. So I got my pack of mango and a pack of strawberry. Semi skim milk for Jack and Brooke's breakfast. I got three of those. I got the strawberry Actimel for Abby again. Again, it's a zero percent added sugar. Um, and it worked out at 3.2 grams of carbs for a bottle. So you could if you wanted it, but I would choose not to. And then fresh juice, got an orange and a pineapple for Brooke. And Abby got an apple and a cranberry juice. Like I said, full of sugar, I would never have it, even if I wasn't keto. 
On to cupboard stuff, I got Jack Sultana brand for his breakfast. I got his soup for his lunch. Again, it's four for three pounds. So I got him scotch broth, oxtail, pea and ham from a chicken. Now that's clever. Comment down below if you remember that advert. Uh, no, no. Sorry about that, Granny Annie just shouted, can I come in? I'm like, no, you can't, because all her birthday stuff's sitting out. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, Jack Soup. I got the six pack of nice and spicy knickknacks for the girls. We've got two of these. Rather than bread this week, I got Brooke her croissants because she likes them for a wee change now and again. And I like these ones because they're individually wrapped. So she can have one a day for like her lunch rather than opening it and then worrying about the rest going stale. Then the naughty naughty stuff. I got a pack of four mint arrows for Jack. A pack of four Mars bars for Jack. Got double cream Oreos for Brooke. Chocolate hazelnut crepes for the girls. Then the girls chocolate. We got two packs of Freddos, one each. And then I think it was Abby would have the caramel and Brooke will have the twirls. I don't know, I've maybe got that wrong. Right, that's us going on to the non-food stuff now, but I'm going to put this stuff away before it all defrosts and goes warm. Two minutes. Wasn't that a quick two minutes? For you anyway. <laughs> right, Brooke needed conditioner, so I got her the Gliss Hair Repair Conditioner Supreme Length. And I think that was a pound. It was, it was cheap anyway. I only ever get her cheap stuff because her hair's fine. Um, I got Abby the Tresemme Colour Protection Shampoo and Conditioner. Just the small ones because the big ones weren't on offer. I don't get the big ones unless they're on offer. Um, I got the multi-surface wipes. They had them in at last. I don't use these nearly as much as I used to because I know they're bad for the environment. But there's certain things that you need wipes for that you can't use your sponge for or a cloth. So yeah, I got a pack of those. I got some Comfort um, sock fabric softener and this is the big one that's the 55 washes now that was £2.98 I think hold on it turns out that I've lost a lot of the footage I'm recording on a new phone and I don't know what on earth I did but I lost the footage that showed you all of the non-food items it wasn't overly exciting anyway um i also showed you mum's birthday cake but you'll see that in her birthday vlog and i showed you the father's day gifts but you'll see them on father's day as well sorry about that let's move on right let me show you what i got from the skinny food co like i said before they do lots of different offers and once you've joined their mailing list you're always getting offers sent through and i saw an offer for free shipping for any order over five pounds and i thought that'll do for me so i decided to get a few things let me show you what i got i got i'm running out of skinny syrups again i absolutely love them because i have coffee every day so i decided to try the Skinny Food Co ones, they now have their own skinny syrups. So I got the English toffee one. Now I have to say I have tried all of these so I can tell you my opinion just now rather than in the future. This is delicious. As soon as you open the bottle, you can smell toffee. Oh, and you can definitely taste it as well. It's not just sweetness with a hint of flavour. It's really got a nice toffee flavour to it. So that is really nice. Now, this was £6.49, which seems expensive, but it's a litre, whereas your Jordan Skinny Syrups are only 750ml. So it's definitely, maybe even slightly cheaper if you get them on the TRKG website. If you get them as TK Maxx, definitely cheaper for the Skinny Syrups, because they're £3.99 a bottle. But while TK Maxx is shut, and to be honest, I actually think I prefer this. I was preferring the TRKG shots, so their own version of Jordan Skinny Syrups, but I think I even prefer this more. And I got one other flavour of that, and that was the salty caramel. I love salty caramel for my iced coffee. I've just finished a really delicious iced coffee with this, and it was so good. And the good thing about it is it's sweetened with sucralose, so it's very keto friendly. There's no sugar in it at all, zero carbs, and it is perfect. So both of them I highly, highly recommend. I also got to try a couple of new skinny syrups. 
well, they're new to me, they're maybe not new to the company, I got the sticky toffee pudding. Now, when I first tasted that, I thought, hmm, it's not really got a sticky toffee pudding flavour, it's just sweet, but you definitely get the sticky toffee pudding aftertaste to it, which is lovely. So, yep, that's nice, I would recommend that. And I also got, oh, toffee apple flavour. And I thought, that's probably not going to taste anything like toffee apples, but it does. Now, I was only tasting a wee bit on my finger, so I've not actually had it on food, but from what I can tell, they are lovely. Really, really nice. Again, it's sucralose that's in them, and nothing else that's going to break your, um, put you out of ketosis. 0 0.01 grams of carbs in a 15ml serving, so I think we're pretty safe with that. I also got the strawberry jam. Oh, this is so, so nice. It's low sugar, obviously not sugar free because it's made from strawberries, but the only sugar that's in it is from the strawberries. It has, per 20 gram serving, 4.9 grams of carbs, so I wouldn't use a lot of it and I wouldn't use it every day. However, the clotted cream that I got with uh, my Asda order earlier that I showed you, I said I had something special to have with it, some of that. My mum had a wee cream tea yesterday for her, an afternoon tea thing for her birthday and there was a Cornish clotted cream and jam cake and I was like, oh, how good would that be? And I thought, I can have that just without the cake bit. So I'm going to have some clotted cream and some jam as a dessert one night, just if I fancy something sweet. And finally, something else that's new or new to me anyway, is the Skinny Flavour Drops and I got the Raspberry Burst. Now this is very strong. At first when I opened it I thought, oh, I thought the dropper had broken but it's not a dropper in the lid. You basically just turn it upside down and it literally, literally comes out one drop at a time. And it's very strong so a little goes a long way and it definitely tastes a raspberry. And I thought the good thing about that is when I go out I can't get a hot drink anywhere that's keto friendly so... If I go out somewhere, everybody's having a hot drink, I can just ask for a hot water and add a few drops of that in because it's nice and small to keep in my bag. Right, so the skinny syrups, the, sorry, the barista syrup for your coffee was £6.49 and everything else was £3.99. So, yeah, very, very pleased with that. I hope you have enjoyed that and maybe see something that you fancy. I will put a link to the Skinny Food Company in the description box below. It is an affiliate link, which means if you click that link and order anything, I might get a few, in fact, I don't think I even get money. I think it's points that I get towards some of their products. However, I'm not sponsored by the company to do this haul. They haven't gifted me it. I bought it all with my own money. It's just the link is affiliate and it doesn't cost you any more money. You're basically still buying your order, but you're helping me out with this channel at the same time. So that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this as the haul in this little skinny food co haul. And please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already because it's completely free. Hit the little bell notification so you know every time I upload. And I'll see you in our next video. Thanks everyone. Bye!